Hello guys, welcome to Talk Man City and welcome back to our channel where today we will be discussing Manchester City's chief executive words on Bernardo Silva's future. We will also be talking about Laporte's recovery progress back at his old club Athletic Bilbao. Also, there's two former City women's players who tasted glory at the Euro 2022 Championship on home soil, calling time on their playing careers. Plus, we are going to take a look at the big friendly coming up later today, live at the Camp Nou against FC Barcelona. It's all coming up, so just sit tight and get ready. So if we should start on Manchester City's chief executive Ferran Soriano speaking about Barcelona's interest in Bernardo, he said to the media, of course I can say that Bernardo Silva will stay at Man City. After the game on the weekend, Bernardo vowed that he will keep fighting and working hard for this team and Pep has previously said on numerous occasions that he wants his star midfielder to stay. So as of right now, I don't think a move to Spain is looking likely. Now moving on to the retirements of former City players Ellen White and Jill Scott who both feel that it's the right time to end their illustrious careers. Ellen White racked up a record breaking 52 goals for England in 113 senior caps and after having a year left on her contract the prolific striker decided to call time on her wonderful career. She said, this has been one of the hardest decisions of my life, but one that I know is the right decision for me. Now it's time to watch the next generation. Playing for England has been my greatest honor and my dreams came true on July the 31st after winning the Euros. And also Jill Scott retires as a city legend making 194 appearances for the club with the star midfielder now leaving the game at the pinnacle of world football after being a part of the squad that ended a 56 year wait for a major honour at the European Championships on home soil. Next up for discussion is Americ Lapworth's visit to former club Athletic Bilbao this past week. He has been using the club's facilities to continue his recovery from injury and he was quite impressed with the improved sections of the club after being given a tour by former teammate Inyaki Williams. Now we should be expecting to see our standout defender back around early September as he continues the rehabilitation process. And finally, the big topic of discussion for today is the starting 11 that Pep is expected to put out for this important friendly against Barcelona with the money set to go straight to charity which further helps to fund research at the Luzon Foundation for the former Barcelona goalkeeper and coach Juan Carlos who was diagnosed with ALS two years ago. Poor scheduling caused this match to be played during the season even though it's for a good cause and to raise awareness. But I think we will see some form of rotation with Ortega set to start in goal. Rico Lewis will definitely play at right back. At left back we'll probably see the debut of new signing Sergio Gomez. In midfield I think Roger will be rested so we will most likely see Calvin Phillips in that role alongside Kevin De Bruyne and Bernardo Silva who I believe will only play 45 minutes. Up front it will be Julian Alvarez leading the line after Pep said that Haaland will be rotated and he will have Cole Palmer and Jack Grealish either side of him. So that's it for today guys with the latest news happening at the club here on the channel. I'll be here after the game to discuss the attendance, atmosphere and the team's performance. Let me know your thoughts on Ferran Soriano's words on Bernardo Silva's future. Do you believe he will remain with us at the end of the transfer window? Also, how do you feel about Ellen White and Jill Scott calling time on their playing careers, which had a beautiful ending having won the Euro 2022 championship? Let me know all of this in the comments down below and I'll be here with plenty more news to come. And thank you for your amazing support. See you soon.